why am I conducting class this way with particular reference to what I was just doing with Van and Frank? I'm trying to get you to think like scholars. I could give you examples in class, and I could work through with examples in class, and you would go home and memorize them and think that you were behaving like a scholar. And then I could write an exam where you were just regurgitating the examples that I gave you in class. Right? And then what would I do? Well, how would I grade you? What I'd be grading was your ability to memorize the examples that I gave you. Instead, I was getting Frank and Van to think about what they did know and resolve open issues that I posed to them. And if you think about the line of inquiry that I pursue, oftentimes, I'm doing ex exactly that. With the knowledge that you've already been at home reading the lecture notes that are on the web, and you've already memorized all that stuff. <laughs> the question is whether or not you can use the body of knowledge that you've learned to resolve open questions, or questions that might arise uh, had you spent less time memorizing and more time thinking about what was going on and why it was done that way. So what I'm trying to do is get you to think like scholars, not just memorize a, a body of information. We have computers that can do that, right? Because, incidentally, what, uh, what important event was going on in Berlin a few weeks ago may still be going on, speaking of computers and memorizing things and outthinking people. <coughs> Anybody play chess? Nobody play chess? Pretend to play chess with your kids until they start beating them, right? And then you give it up. The World Chess Championship, where our group played in Berlin right now. And of course, uh, Big Blue, IBM invested a lot of money over a large number of years to design a computer that could beat the best human chess players. Okay, so, but that was just by sheer dint of number crunching. It wasn't intuitive reasoning. So you, you acquire a body of knowledge so that what appears mysterious to other people seems to you to be intuitive reasoning. So I'm just trying to get you to start reasoning in, in, in an intuitive way in the context of this discipline and where you're headed with your uh, academic work. <coughs>